honestly the most intrigued I've ever been. Uh oh. Mm -mm. Between concrete walls, there's a place for us. I wanna go. Do you wanna follow? Hi. Are we going to open this? All right, guys. So I got my package today. I just crossed out my address, but as you can see, I'm in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And I want you guys to see the initial reaction I have to products because I feel like you're always missing out on that. How can I open open this with just one hand? Can you hold the camera, please? Mm, not a good idea. Okay. All right. So that was this is like really well shipped. Oh my god! I was so excited for this item. Like I really needed a diffuser, and I hear oh, it was a little bit smushed. But um, by the way, I did not shop the Via Diva Curl because they do not ship internationally. But there's a site that does kind of you know get this stuff for me. So here it is. Isn't this very cool? And this is the Diva Curl Living Believing. Melt into moisture. No, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? That is so dangerous. Hola gente, what's up guys? Welcome to another Treatment Tuesday where we test out a new hair care product for the very first time on camera and we decide together if it works or not. Today I'm actually going to be giving you my first impressions on not one but three Diva Curl uh, products. I am definitely a little bit more excited than I usually am with this type of products because a long story short, I've spent my entire life trying to make my hair look something that it is not naturally, so I have a lot more movement and even though it is not fully curly, it clearly has some waves. So this is how my hair naturally looks when air dried. This has absolutely no conditioner on. All I did was shampoo with my current favorite shampoo, which is the one that's called Cool Blaze by the brand Pure Tanica. So back to the Diva Curl products. Here is my invoice. I spent for the Diva Fuser $37.99. The Diva Curl Melt into Moisture Conditioning Mask, that is the first one we're going to try in just one minute, was $28. And then the Diva Curl Believing Miracle Curl Plumper, I paid $16.16, all of which added up to $82.27. Then I spent $10 in shipping and handling for a total of $92.27. And since I am not in the US, I live in Argentina, as many of you guys know, for um, customs purposes, I had to pay an additional fee of 40 US dollars. So that's a lot of money for these three products. I have very big expectations. And yeah, I wanted to kind of give you guys a before. I realized this is not probably the most fair before because my hair is not conditioned, but it kind of gives you an idea of um, how my hair without any product uh, except for that quick shampoo um, should look like. So, and I've said this before on multiple videos, but I haven't said it in the past few ones, so just uh, for the new ones just watching this video, I do have sewed in, I uh, have what I call a curtain, so a sewed in um, extension, which was originally exactly my natural hair color, which I would say is a very dark blonde and it was a little bit wavy like my natural hair as well so it's very like most people cannot even tell that i have extensions on but i like being super super honest with you i'm going to start applying the first product which is the diva curl melt into moisture matcha butter conditioning mask so i can't wait to see what this does for my hair's hydration and for the appearance of my weight. Let's get my hair a little bit more dim. Trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. So in here we're getting eight fluid ounces of product or 236 milliliters. And in case you guys are curious, this product is actually made in the US. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh. So first of all, it is green, which I feel it's 
so nice. First of all, because Diva Curl logo is kind of green, so good branding there. But also I think that the main reason for that is actually that it has matcha, like a very strong version of green tea. But don't worry, it doesn't smell like matcha at all. Like it's not like matcha smells like a lot, but <laughs> honestly, I don't mind smelling like this. It's actually super pleasant and kind of very natural. These feels like those extra thick cream cheeses. Here we have one that we call Tolum. I don't know if you have the same brand in other countries, but it reminds me so much of that. And uh, it's kind of exciting because it's the first time I've seen this texture. No other hair masks that I've tried so far have these texture. I feel like it's going to be very, I don't know, kind of sticky. I can't let it go. Chin up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy seas throw me in open water. Let me have my peace and leave me to. I really don't know why, but I'm so scared that this will be a huge fail video. Um, it's not like I don't trust Diva Curl, but I'm not a super curly girl. Uh, in fact, I feel like part of the reason why I've never fully accepted my hair is that I it's wavy, like it's not straight hair or it is not super curly and I feel like I don't do well with being in between those two worlds. So hopefully this whole system can help me uh, bring a little bit more definition to my waves and maybe I can start kind of embracing my natural hair, which honestly it is about time. I'm not getting any younger and it's really nice to, you know, be happy and content with what God or nature has given us, right? The only few times that I remember uh, just going, you know, with my natural waves um, is mostly on while on holiday, especially on beach locations where very tropical, humid weather, it's just it's just a lost cause to try to fight my waves. So it was definitely about time I started experimenting. It's not like I'm gonna stop testing out or blow drying my hair or all those things because I'm pretty sure I won't. But if this little experiment today turns out good, I mean, my husband loves my waves even when they're super freezy and crazy at the beach. And there's a bunch of L'Oreal and Kerastase product lines that I will definitely love to explore. If you have other suggestions, please let me know in the comments below for sure. And if you are new around here, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button down there. So I'm going to set the timer to 15 minutes. Ooh, and for maximum moisture, it recommends to leave it on overnight. That kind of reminds me of a little Olaplex experiment I wanna make. And then the recommended frequency for this hair mask is once a week or whenever needed. Honestly, if it does a very good job, I can absolutely see myself replacing my conditioner with this deep conditioning hair mask. I don't see why not. This is not animal tested, bravo for that. I am not a vegan, but I love animals and definitely if we can spare them the terrible, tragic situation of testing products on them, I think that is a wonderful thing. I definitely want to take a look at the ingredients and take a look at this. It's quite strange. You have a sticker here at the bottom of the hair mask and it says here what's in it. I love that they're including ingredients in a very clear way in the uh, hair care packaging because I mean aren't we all don't don't we all have a right to know what we're using so once you remove that sticker that says what's in it you get all the uh, ingredients as always, I'm just gonna share with you the main ingredients for the full detailed list of ingredients in case you wanna go deeper into that. Uh, I'm just gonna be linking all these products in the description box. This is soybean oil. Typically, oils are wonderful for my hair. And they really help tame my frizz, so that's great. Then there is glycerin, which I've mentioned this before. Glycerin is wonderful. It's probably the best thing out there for um, hair hydration and it is in a bunch of 
other hair masks. It also has coconut oil, sweet almond oil, olive fruit oil and panthenol, castor oil, which I hear is amazing to uh, really condition and help your hair grow more healthy. Now, hydrolyzed corn starch, I've also seen, I believe, on some anti-freeze hair masks hydrolyzed soy protein so you're getting some protein for your hair that's also meant for hair being more smooth and soft then there is citric acid and some fragrance and i could not see it on the detailed more technical ingredients list but this is also supposed to have shea butter and matcha tea like i mentioned before oh and generally speaking you guys should know that all Diva Curl products are 100% sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. So we're getting absolutely zero silicones here. We don't have to worry about, you know, our responsible use of silicone products or anything like that. That's been a topic, a very recurring topic. All right, so 15 minutes have gone by, my friends. I am going to be um, going to the shower to rinse this off thoroughly and I can't wait to come back and share with you my first impressions on these hair masks. All right, so I'm back. Nothing weird or funny or strange to report. Easy peasy to remove. And now I'm going to detangle while my hair is still wet um, using my tangle teaser. Mm, this smells good. It's like a nice, subtle, clean smell. All right, so let's move on to step two, which is the Diva Curl Believe In Miracle Curl Plumper. Well, I do hope it is a miracle indeed. <laughs> uh, again, 100% sulfate, paraben, and silicone uh, free, just like all Diva Curl products. And it says here that if you want to bring out your natural curls, plump them up, and add moisture, shine, uh, then this is the product for you. Ooh, it's like a gel. Well, it said it was a gel, right? Duh. Okay. So I'm going to rub it between the palms of my hands and uh, I'm going to scrunch and scrunch. I feel like this video could be like a major hit or a major tragic result. You know, there's videos that just, they can't go in between. So it doesn't specify how much I guess a good idea is to experiment and hopefully I'm not doing something dramatically wrong yeah I mean uh, clearly we're seeing a lot more waves all right so I'm going to try to get to the roots as well you know what if it ends up being a huge fail at least I'm having so much fun filming this so now let's move on to I guess the product I'm most intrigued about and that is the Diva Fuser right here. The Universal Diffuser. Clearly you can see it's quite unique because it has the shape of a hand so it kind of helps you, um, you know, scrunch up as you are blow drying. Well, it's not blow drying as you're diffusing your weights. So this rubber thingy right here is supposed to help kind of connect to any diameter of any blow dryers. So um, yeah, here's to hoping it does. So at the back of the box, it says here that it is meant for all curl kind from waves to, you know, super tight curls. It says it has a ceramic core that preserves natural shine and moisture. That's interesting. A high heat resistant material, which is, I guess, crucial, that is very durable and long lasting. I truly hope so because you were definitely not cheap. And then it has the universal adapter that I just mentioned and 360 degree airflow throughout the hand um, and the patented ergonomic design, uh, which enhances the natural curl definition. Tell him, my darling, are you ready to collaborate with uh, my Diva Curl Diffuser? Let's just take this nozzle off. And 
I am going to try to attach this. Ta ta. Uh oh. Mm -mm. Oh, please, please attach. All right. Hmm. All right. I think it's attached now. Honestly, it looks like it's going to pop at any time. So what I'm gonna do is just use the Alhim Ads. It's kind of uh, level two, which is not the strongest uh, because I feel like this is going to like <laughs> deattach at any time and it's going to cause some major chaos in my room. Yeah, I, I, I have to say I don't feel the attachment is something that gives me lots of confidence in the product, but uh, I could be wrong, so... Okay, that, that did not go well. <laughs> Let's try again. if I am an ignorant who doesn't know how to attach the universal um, deep diffuser. So I'm not very pleased so far. Again, I'm not sure if it is maybe me, but like I really wish that it would stay put. All right, so there is still hope. Every review I'm seeing online has a different shape of hair dryer than my Elhim. So maybe this is the one hair dryer that is not universal, like it's not compatible somehow. So I'm gonna go and find my old one. Thank God I kept it. All right, so do you guys see how this old one by top color is so different? Let's see. Yep, yeah, this one seems to be compatible. Let's test it out. Are you guys seeing this? It's crazy. I don't know what to say. I feel like a totally different person, but I'm kind of loving it. What do you guys think? I'm gonna give a last kind of couple of minutes diffusing with cold air because I heard that locks in moisture and makes hair shinier. So why not try that, right? So now I'm going to share with you guys all the pros and cons of this routine that I just uh, tested out with all these Diva Curl products. But before I do that, click in here and vote. And let me know either in the poll or in the comment section below, what do you think this product did to my hair? I mean, do you think this is a good result? So what do you think looks better on me? Like straight hair or curly hair? Personally, I kind of feel like I look more like my brother's sister because he has very curly hair, especially when he has it a little bit longer. So there's a few things. First of all, I feel like this whole process was a little bit longer than what usually getting straighter hair takes for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, you've seen me on plenty of videos and it is one hell of a workout to get my hair, you know, silky, smooth, straight, but it does feel like this one uh, just happens a little bit slower. I guess it is because the whole diffusing thing and the fact that I have to use my older hair dryer which has a little bit less watts. So I'm gonna split the screen now and show you guys quickly the before and of course this is the after and definitely both the hair mask and the believe-in seem to have worked like a mirror. And I guess the only bad thing I want to say is that I wish this was actually universal. We just tested it out on the Elhim. It just doesn't attach properly. I'm not sure if that's a bad thing for the Alhim or for the Diva Fuser. Maybe the Alhim is the exception to the rule. I don't know. But just thought I'd mention to you guys that, you know, if 
fewer uh, if you have the Elhim or if you have a similar shaped hair dryer the diva fuser is not going to attach to it you need something similar to this shape other than that I feel like this has been an amazing makeover probably the best video I've filmed so far for this channel so I'm very excited to hear your thoughts. Now these Diva Curl routine definitely gets two thumbs up from me although like I said I don't have a lot of um, similar hair care uh, tested out previously to compare but I am loving it. I may have started possibly with the best brand who knows we will see down the line as I test out new hair care products for the curly girl on my channel I'm super grateful that you stopped by today and that you put up with me and all my videos thank you so much for just being here and I will talk to you all again on my next one